My name is Carol Hartman and I am captain of the Stray Cat Pool League Shooters and I've been in this West Virginia 8 Ball League for about 20 years now. My team, the Stray Cat Shooters, this is our second year overall. Last year, our very first year, we went, we won first place in our division and overall we came in second place. This year we are going to try to win the big one. We're in it to win it. <laughs> we want that big trophy. <laughs> The league name is the West Virginia 8-Ball League, is the whole league. Our team name is just the Stray Cat Shooters. How many members are on the Stray Cat Shooters? I have probably about 15 total, but only 12 or 13 of them come every week because I have quite a few subs for emergency purposes. Do you so. play much yourself? Myself, no, not unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> the season usually starts about, I'm going to say September, and usually runs through March, but then you go into the playoffs, and that could take you up until the middle or end of April. Just depends on how good you do. <laughs> Eight ball is scored just like any other pool match. You. You break them, and if you make solids or stripes, you shoot your balls, and whoever makes the eight ball first properly wins. <laughs> if you scratch on that eight ball, you're a loser. I mean, to put it nicely, but you lose. <laughs> you shoot partners every game, and you have a table captain, and that table captain watches the game every shot, and that way there's no discrepancies, there's no arguments, there's no, you said this and you didn't do that. When I started getting familiar with pool, the one that taught me a lot was Shotgun Carlisle. He was way back in the day, but the man knew what he was doing. He had his own bar, and that's what he did all the time with shoot pool. So I learned a lot from him. <laughs> well, my mom married Shotgun, so that's how I got started, because she ran the bar, and they I was always there. It was like my second home. So when he passed away, and she sold the bar, it just wasn't the same. It was, I wasn't in my own home shooting, even though I had strangers in there around me. It was just, it just wasn't the same. And I probably haven't shot five games of pool since then. And that's been a good 20 years, probably. <laughs> and your name? Judy Carlisle. They pick, take pity on me on occasion. <laughs> What keeps bringing you back every year? What is it you love about shooting pool? I like to shoot pool. It's good exercise. My mother does have a pool table in her house and she shoots five o'clock in the morning before she gets ready for work. She'll shoot of a night before she goes to bed. She is one of my better shooters on my team compared with all these guys. She can hold her own. My husband shoots pool all the time. Me personally, when I have to. <laughs> So, I'm just emergency backup. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, I'm here with Scott Hartman. And, he's like, and what do you think your chances are uh, for winning the overall this year? Well, if we shoot like we have been for the last four or five weeks, we got another run at it. I've been shooting probably since I was about 13. And it's, it's a good time. Do you think it'll be something you'll probably do the rest of your life? And I'll do it until I can't do it no more. And I threaten to quit every week, but I'm back here again. So. It's just one big happy family. Each team is like one big family. You have three or four teams from one place, but it's all, you just enjoy doing it and being together every week. People, yeah, a lot of people take it way too serious, and other people seems like they don't take it serious enough. So it's kind of like evenly matched. <laughs> yeah, and your name, sir? My name is Mark Harms. Everybody is just very friendly. They get along very well. No arguing. It's just very friendly atmosphere. You know, your skill level is going to go up, and when you have people like Scooter, who's their captain, excellent shot. And when you have people like that teaching you and coaching you, you got to get better. Straight cats, in my my opinion, is doing very very well. Some weeks you have good weeks when you can come out nine three winning. Other weeks you can lose 10-2, so it just depends on week to week. Hopefully this year we will come out at least as good as we did last year, if not better. We are trying to go for the big one. So, and the number one team in the league is Green Spring Tavern, Roger Kidwell's team. 
and that's the team you always want to beat the most because they've been first place for the last probably 12 years, if not longer, off and on, and it's just major victory to beat Green Spring. <laughs> They're the ones that took first place overall last year, and that's why we won it so bad. <laughs> Most of our eight ball shooters usually rehydrate themselves by drinking a cold beer. <laughs> I have a few that will do a few shots. I have a few that just drink soda. I have one or two that'll drink a cup of coffee. But when the nerves get the best of them, then they're gonna drink something a little stronger than coffee or soda. <laughs> as far as equipment, most of our guys own their own sticks. Me personally, I just use a plain old bar stick. As long as it doesn't roll crooked, I'm happy. <laughs> but I don't really think the stick has a lot to do with it. I'm thinking it's the person holding the stick that controls it. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> I have probably five or six of us on our team that have been on the league in the league for probably 20 years. And they're really laid back. They don't get excited. They don't get nervous. I have two or three guys that's only been on my team for one or two years. They're very quiet, scared to death, want the table captain to tell them every shot, and that way if they mess up, it's his fault, not theirs. And But overall, everybody's just real laid back and comfortable with each other because we're all real good friends. So it works out very well, very well. Ten ball in the corner. Sam, we got the game coming up here Tuesday night. Uh, how does it uh, uh, look for you? Is it how it kicks off in the game tonight? Is that how the rest of the night goes? Usually. I mean, if we start off slow and we miss our easy shots, we'll make hard shots, miss the easy ones, then it seems to have a trickle down effect. Through the rest of the team, you know, it, we could have a bad night, just everybody, nobody could hit a shot. It just, most of it depends on how we start out. Of course, the scooter shot with him for years. I'm not near as old as he is, so I haven't shot with him near as long. But <laughs> 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 